In this section, we're going to review multiplying and dividing monomials. You have actually learned this when you learned your exponent rules. So if you need a review, you can go back to the exponent rules notes and review. I will go through the rules with you briefly, but a review would be helpful if you don't remember why the rules are the way they are. So let's move on. First, anything to the zero power is 1. Whenever you multiply same bases, you add the exponents. Whenever you divide same bases, you subtract the exponents. Whenever you raise a power to another power, you multiply the exponents. If you have an exponent outside of parentheses and there's multiple bases within the parentheses, you distribute the, ba the exponent to each of the bases. So a, b to the m is the same as a to the m, b to the m, if a and b are in parentheses. Same thing with division. If you have bases that are being divided and those are raised to an exponent, then you raise both bases to an exponent. Anything to a negative exponent is the reciprocal of that base to that positive exponent. 1 over anything to a negative exponent is the reciprocal with the base in the numerator to a positive exponent. So we know that negative exponents mean reciprocal. I'm going to run through a couple of examples with our basic rules. Anything to the zero power is 1. a to the negative m is 1 over a to the m. And 1 over a to the negative m is a to the m. See if you can figure out the answers as I go. So 6 to the negative second means 1 over 6 to the positive second, which is 1 36th. 4 to the 0, anything to the 0 is 1. x to the negative 6 means 1 over x to the positive 6. 7 to the negative 3 means 1 over 7 to the positive third, which equals 1 over 343. 8x to the negative 7th is the same as 8 times 1 over x to the positive 7th, which is 8 over x to the 7th. 6 squared times y to the negative 4th is the same as 6 squared over y to the positive 4th, which is 36 over y to the 4th. 1 over x to the negative fifth is the same as x to the fifth. 4 over y to the negative third is the same as 4y to the third. 4 over 5 to the negative second is the same as 4 times 5 squared over 1, or 4 times 25, which is 100. g over 3 to the negative third is the same as g times 3 to the third over 1, which is the same as 27g. Next, let's work with raising a power to a power, with distributing a power throughout parentheses. And the first example is x to the fourth raised to the seventh. We're going to multiply those together to get 28. Then we have negative 3m to the 0n. Well, m to the 0 is the same as 1, so this is ultimately negative 3n to the second. We're going to distribute the, ver the exponent, so we get negative 3 squared, keep that in the parentheses, that's very important, n squared, which is 9n squared. Next, we have 2 squared m to the 10th, n to the 8th, which is going to equal 4m to the 10th, n to the 8th. Our next example, we end up with 4 squared over 5 squared, which is 16 over 25. In our next example, we'll end up with x to the 4th over 2 to the 4th, which is the same as x to the 4th over 16. In our next example, we end up with 3 cubed x cubed over 2 cubed y cubed. So we end up with 27 x to the third over 8 y to the third. And then in our last example, this is 3 x to the third over 2 squared y squared. So we end up with 3 x to the third 
over 4y squared. Next we're going to work with multiplication and division rules, multiplication and division of same bases. So remember when you multiply same bases and the bases have to be the same, then you add the exponents. If you divide same bases, again bases must be the same, you subtract the exponents. So let's look at some examples here. a squared times a to the third, we keep our base and we add our exponents, so we get a to the fifth. Our next example, we subtract, we keep our base and we subtract our exponents, so we get 5 to the third. Next, we keep our base and add our exponents. Oh, let me simplify these as well. So 5 cubed is 125, 3 to the fourth is 81. So in our next example, we have 2, 4 minus 3 is 1, so we'll just leave it as 2, or you can put 2 to the first if you want, and then 5 minus 2 is 3. So that's 2a to the third. And use your order of operations. Go ahead and simplify these before you multiply them out. So next, we have 2 plus negative 4. So that gives us 3 to the negative second, which is 1 over 3 squared, which is 1 ninth. Here we're going to distribute 2 cubed a cubed over 2 cubed a squared. 2 cubed divided by 2 cubed is 1. So those cancel. 3 minus 2 is 1, so that equals a to the first, or a. In our next example, we need to distribute this exponent, so we get 4 squared x squared times 4 to the negative fourth x to the negative second. So we're going to keep our bases and add our exponents, which is going to give us 2 plus negative 4 is negative 2 for our exponent on 4 and 2 plus negative 2 is 0, so these two x's cancel out, so we end up with 1 over 4 squared, which is 1 16th. In our next example, we'll, dis we'll simplify within the parentheses first and then distribute that exponent. 4 divided by 2 is 2, and then 3 minus negative 2 is actually a to the fifth. I think of it as these two twos have to come up here to become positive, so you actually end up with 3 plus 2, which is 5, or 3 minus negative 2 is 3 plus 2, which is 5. So we end up with a to the fifth in our numerator, and then we're going to raise all this to the second power, so we end up with 2 squared a to the tenth, so that's 4a to the tenth. So try this, this next example and then check back. For my answer in the first problem, I ended up with 4 over 25x to the 8th. Check your steps with mine if you missed the problem. Then try the next two problems and check back. Here are the answers to the next two problems. Check over them. Then try the last problem on this page and check to see how you did. Here are my steps and answer to the last problem on this page. Let's now move on to working with examples that have all of our properties involved. So try the first problem here and then stop and see how you did before moving on. Here are my steps and answers for the first example. How'd you do? So now I'd like you to try the next example and then check back. And let me give you a tip for the next example. So again, remember to go ahead and simplify everything within the parentheses first before you apply the exponent on the outside. So give that a shot. How did you do on this next problem? Try the rest of the problems on this page and then come back and see how you did. Here are my steps for the last two problems. Go ahead and check and see how you did. Remember to go back and review the exponent unit if you need a little more practice with these. We will be applying the idea of multiplying and dividing monomials to polynomials in the next section.